What I have here is a Volcano. I'm going to say Volcano because maybe it's Volcano. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is a German-made backpacking stove. And the reason I'm making this video is because I couldn't find any literature on it at all anywhere on the internet. A couple of YouTube videos on how they operate, but that's about it. So compared to my hand, you can see it's not very big. Um, so anyways, okay. So I'm going to show you what I had to do and from trial and error, how I figured it out. So here we go. Let's go ahead and open it up. Just pivots up like that. You got your fuel tank right there. And this is a, what I would call gravity fed system because there's no pressure in the tank and it just basically goes downhill. And I took it all apart and I cleaned it and uh, I just painted this, the burner here. I didn't have any high temp gray, so I painted it black. I think it looks fine. And so right back here, I had to take all this out, everything. And you can see back here where it's, it's basically going through the hinge and I didn't know how to get it out of there. I knew how to get it off there, just with that nut. But that didn't do anything if I just took the nut off. And that was that was confusing me. So I went ahead and let's see if we can get a good picture of this. I tried hitting the pin. Oops, where's my finger? Tried to knock the pin all the way out. Didn't work. Tried to hit it back. Didn't work. And then I got to think that is there really a hole going through this whole mechanism? If so, how's there a hole in there? And then there had to be another chamber for the gas to go through. Um, so I bent this tab up, or I actually bent it down, just because it was kind of easy to get to. I, it looks like I gotta put it back a little more. I gotta crimp it down. Anyways, the pin in here, there's two separate pins. This one slides out this way. That one slides out this way, and I was able to get everything out. Because the reason I had to get it all out is I had a huge clog. Not only was the tank in here, it took me about an hour to get all the crap out of it um, from all the years. I think um, it was just all rusty in there, and it took a long time to get all the stuff. I actually put some, you know, I opened the top here, put a bunch of little screws in there with, and water and shook it all about for like an hour and still getting pieces of, of rust and stuff out. And uh, then I put it outside and since there's a couple openings, it, it dried real nicely in no time. And so I went ahead and I had to clean all this, I had to clean this, um, this tube out because it was jam packed full of stuff also. Um, this big long generator here, it was pretty clear. There's something in the middle here, probably a filter of some sort and I couldn't get to it and I didn't want to. Uh, I just went ahead and cleaned what I could with a with a pipe brush and uh, then I soaked all my parts and that's basically it. Uh, I did fire it up already and it's so cool because it's quiet. Now this confused me at first. Open two full turns before use. Well that goes against everything I've ever learned about you know stoves but I guess what happens is if you run it with this tight, it's going to starve for fuel. So you do. You open it up a couple turns and it flows freely. What's nice about this is you could preheat this cup down here. This is the preheat cup without actually putting any denatured alcohol in a tube and, or in a, in a container and spraying it because it's gravity fed. So I'm going to show you how this thing runs. And I don't recommend it doing in your house, but... I've already done it and it's safe and quiet and really cool. So I'm going to turn this on and you can see down here, if I can get a good shot of the fuel, the raw fuel coming out. There we go. So I'm going to open that up a few turns, actually quite a few. Let's see, maybe I have to tip it up a little bit. OK, 
Okay. That may be good enough. There's, a, there's some down there. So I'm going to go ahead and close it off. I think that's on. Yep. Let me turn the light off. It might be easier to see the flame. Okay. So we'll just let that burn and heat that generator up. And it's very quiet, which is very nice. And I thought, well, it doesn't seem very powerful. But you know what? It's super hot since it is alcohol. It's really hot. Uh, let me see. Oh, you know what? It's ready to go already. It must have stayed hot from the last time I ran it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Just a couple turns and it's maxed. So that's kind of what we have. And it's super hot. It, it seems like it's hotter than the, the white gas because it's alcohol. It's, it's, that's really hot. But that's it. You can hear how quiet it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, you can barely hear it. Anyways, that's all. Oh, you know what? I didn't even open this cap up yet. Stand by. I gotta get a screwdriver. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's a little louder, but nice flame. That'll probably burn, uh, boil water in no time. So, and it's quite adjustable, like they all are. So we can get that down to a nice little simmer. Like that. Still really hot. And then that's about max. So, if any of you are having problems and you can't get it apart because you can't find anything on the internet or anywhere, especially since it's German made, um, hopefully I have helped how to get that. I mean, that's the only part that's tough is getting that assembly off. And remember, one pin goes out one side, the other pin goes through the other side. It's not one long pin inside that. Um, that hinge. So this is the Volcano German made backpack slash camp stove. That's it. All right, thanks for watching.